Hello, what's everybody doing? Please like and subscribe to my channel and also share and don't forget to check out my cash app uh, below this video um, in the um, directions box, I guess that's what they call it. Um, listen, with everything that's going on um, today, I've almost forgot about Russell Simmons. Remember Oprah uh, was about to go after him, but then she backed off? Don't you wonder why she didn't pursue that? I've just wondered why. What what the hell made her back off of Russell Simmons? I can tell you why. It's because if she exposes him, she exposes herself. It's the same thing with um, the Weinstein guy. That's why she never went after him. Trust me when I tell you this, Weinstein was not an isolated case. Now we wait on Diddy and uh, Jay-Z and the rest of the pedophiles and um, rapists and, and weirdos. The floodgates are open now and I'm sure they are all scared. I predict Demon Diddy is next. Have you ever no have you noticed that most of Oprah Oprah's friends are homosexuals and pedophiles? Really? Most of everybody that she's close to are either homosexuals or pedophiles. Every all everybody. Including what's that? What's the um the poet's name that died? That was on her show, um, the black woman poet. What is her name? I can't remember her name. Oh God! But Oprah was always all over her. What is that? I can't think of her name. Um, she appeared on. She made a lot of appearances on Oprah's show. I can't remember her name, but she was a poet. Um, oh, uh, Maya Angelou. Yeah, she she was homosexual too. All of Oprah's friends are either homosexual or pedophiles or both. I'm serious. Do your research on that. Back to creepy ass Russell Simmons. I want to know why Kimora got a court order for a nanny and security to always be present when, Ru when Russell had the girls. That's a huge red flag. Guess she shouldn't trust him alone with them because he got hurt when she was a child. So what's to stop him from molesting his own kids? Multiple women said they were assaulted by Russell, but whatever came of them? Were they paid off? Why is Russell Simmons free? That's what I want to know. When things were getting hot for him, he left the country. R. Kelly needs to tell on everybody in the industry. He has nothing to lose at this point. I don't know though, because if he do tell on everybody, he may, he may end up hanging in his jail cell. Like that happened to that white dude, remember? I can't think of his name, y'all. <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about, right? Okay, this is totally off topic. Oops, excuse me. But did y'all know that Prince was uh, diagnosed with AIDS six months before he died? I didn't know that, you know, and the media didn't talk about that. And if they did, it was like very little. Prince had, um, he allegedly contracted HIV in the mid nineties. So he knew he had, um, AIDS the whole time. And not only that, I, 
I think I read somewhere where it was said that he refused um, to be treated because he believed in uh, God or something like that, <laughs> you know. And um, by the time that uh, Prince died, he weighed just 80 pounds, 80 pounds. And I saw a video of him walking into a doctor's office to get his fix. And um, he and he looked like he weighed about 80 pounds. I mean, he was this big. I watched the video at least three times because I was like, oh, my God. You know, he really didn't look well. So now I don't know if he died from complications of AIDS or if he died from an overdose of drugs. I'm not sure. I don't think anybody knows. You know what I'm saying? But... And in any case, he was going to either die of that or um, the drugs. So I'm wondering, what about all those women and men he done slept with? Do, are they infected? You know, a lot of people don't want to say that he was homosexual, but come on now. Y'all know damn well that boy was fruity. Y'all need to stop it, black folks. Stop it. You know he was fruity. Doesn't take away from his talent, though, because he was a genius. He really was. So, Obama. Obama. Nobody wants to hear from you. Especially when it comes to race relations. You are a puppet for the oppressors. You are an imposter, Obama. You are definitely a puppet for the oppressors. You were sent here by the oppressors. Your whack ass wouldn't speak on it when you were in office. Now that you're out, now you want to pretend to speak on race relations. Shut your moist ass up. I mean it. Shut your moist ass up, Obama. All of a sudden, Obama want to speak on race relations. Did you guys see um, his video um, supposedly speaking on race relations and what's going on, the current, current uh, things that are happening today? Excuse me. It was full of shit. Obama is just a puppet for the oppressors. He has always been a puppet for the oppressors. His whack ass would not speak on race relations when he was in office. Now all of a sudden he want to open his damn mouth. Shut your moist ass up. I mean, I mean it, Obama. Shut your moist ass up. This fool didn't even say black people in his little damn speech. He said people of color. What the F is that? That's not us. Or should I say that's not me? I'm not a person of color. I'm a black woman. People of color. That could be damn near anybody. Shut the fuck up. His moist ass even bought up homosexuals. What the heck does homosexuals have to do with black people being murdered by the police? Obama, you need to evaporate. Evaporate. Now. ASAP. Nobody, nobody wants to hear from your whack ass. Everyone knows who you really are and what team you're batting for. He spoke for a whole damn hour and didn't say shit. Just like he was in office and didn't do shit. You want to talk? Okay, let's view Obama and Michelle. Has anybody ever seen pics of Michelle pregnant? No. You know why? Because she never was. Y'all do know that 
that marriage was arranged, right? Obama hasn't had vagina since vagina had him. The secret society were grooming him many years before putting him in office. And they made sure his beard was on board for the program. What program is that? The program of fooling your black asses to get into office to carry out the oppressor's orders. All presidents are just figureheads who have to answer to someone else and do as they're told. And usually what they are told to do doesn't benefit black folks. Before Obama's arrangement with Michelle came about, he only dated Caucasian men. You and your wife are not relationship goals. You two are just a partnership. Let's keep it real. Obama and Michelle are just a partnership, a business deal. Where are Michelle's baby pictures? I'm trying to see something. I want somebody to put up some baby pictures of uh, Michelle Obama. I, I'm just trying to see something. Tell me, who are the birth parents of those two girls that they call their children? I'm asking for a friend. Did anyone read Michelle's book? It's called Becoming by Michelle Obama. I didn't. And I'm not going to. Unless you are talking about your husband being on the down low or how your marriage was arranged or if you were born a woman. I don't want to hear a D-A-M-N thing you got to say, Michelle Obama. F that book and F Michelle too. Excuse me. I really don't know what Michelle is, but I do know that her husband is moist. And I do know he didn't do shit for his father's people, meaning black folks. In her book, she said she had a miscarriage. I don't believe that, Heffa. I want proof. I want proof. She and Obama ain't shit. And if that hurts someone's feelings, guess what? I don't give a fuck. You guys are welcome to do your own research on these two. As I said before, you don't have to believe anything I say. I encourage you to research the, uh, my content. If you can prove me wrong on, any, on anything that I've said, please do so. I can admit when I'm wrong. I don't know everything. You know what I'm saying? I don't know everything. I never said that I did. I'll tell you one thing, I don't lie. And if I do get something wrong on here, I, I'll admit it if I get something wrong on here. But most of the time, I don't. I really do not. Another thing I'm going to need y'all to do is stop saying that Obama is black. Stop saying that Obama is black. You want to know why? Because he isn't. I don't care how you want to make him black, nor do I care if your, uh, your oppressor says that he's black. I don't care. I don't care how you want to make him black, nor do I care if your oppressors said that he's black. Your oppressors say a lot of whack ass shit. His DNA says that he's biracial. And that's what the F he is. He has never claimed black folks. 
y'all black asses. So shut the fuck up. Are you aware that his whack ass said that blacks don't need reparations? He said y'all need education. <laughs> the nerve. The nerve. He did not and would not and refused to sign off on reparations for us. But yet, he's all man. He's all black president, right? That alone, that incident alone, him refusing to sign off on um, reparations for us, that incident alone for me, made me hate him i hate everything he stands for he's a whack ass mf yes he is but he was a whack ass mf before he became president and he's still a whack ass mf what the f would make him think that we want to hear anything from him about race relations who the f cares what his opinion is and what he said I want y'all to watch that video because he sat right there with his moist, whack ass and took and went all around. He did not, I don't think he used the word black one time in the, in the uh, bullshit he was talking about. He never said black people. It was all, he kept saying bullshit like people of color, homosexuals and all this kind of shit that had nothing to do with nothing. I'm going to need him to shut the fuck up. He's a waste of breath. I don't care if that makes y'all mad or not. I can't stand him and his husband. Or Michael, Michelle, whatever her name is. His. I don't know what they are. You know what? This time, this day and age, I don't know what's what. I really don't. These damn oppressors got people saying that they horses, that they cows, that they sheep. I don't know what the fuck anybody is at this point. <laughs> I'm serious. I don't. But okay, guys. I'm going to wrap up. I want my people to be careful out there because the people that are trashing these places, a lot of them are agents. Okay? A lot of them are agents. They were sent out there to start trouble and create confusion, throw bricks through um, stores and stuff like that. It's not even us that's doing it. It's agents being sent out there and paid to do that shit. Okay? And to, to make us look like we're doing it. These MFs have been after us for so long. When uh, Bill Gates created the uh, C virus. Dropped it off in China. And somehow uh, it ended up, instead of being a Chinese virus, now it's the black virus. You know what I'm saying? They was hoping that... Um, Oh, I can't even get it right. They were hoping that this pandemic would cause... Um, eh, I can't get it, y'all. It won't come to me. Anyway. Yeah, they was hoping that they would have to issue martial law during the pandemic, right? They thought it would cause us to go off. That's why they put the, our faces on the face of the C-virus. Okay, it didn't happen. We didn't go off, all right? So then they killed a few of us. They killed us, killed us, killed us, like close in vicinity, weekly. And they was hoping, and they're hoping that we will go off so that they can issue martial law. That's what they want to do, okay? You know, they always got a plan for us. It's sad because we ain't even thinking about their dumb pink asses. But they always got a plan for us. Okay, my people. I love y'all. I'm through. Toodles.